Yeah, that girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm grabbing. I'm pressing every grab I can because I'm trying to get back to my side, man. I, to be honest with you. And wow, man, his foot is right through his ass. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Dude Love 9, and this is Tourney Run. It's been a long time since I've done this, and I know you've been wondering where I've been, what's been going on, and honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. I went to uh, the Iron Fist Philly local um, about a week or so ago, and um, went to go play some good old Tekken. Um, while I was home and I did really good. I did the best I've ever done Like in the history of me going down there. I got fourth place more so because um, None of the heavy hitters are there <laughs> But we take those we take those you know good games we take those but also Just because I felt like I was really playing like out of my mind like, like I, I've improved since the last time I usually go like one and two, oh, or two and two there. Um, and there was quite a few people. Like I got a good, pretty big, got some pretty big wins on some some players that I've never really gotten wins off of, you know, in the first round. So um, I'm gonna go through the VOD and tell you uh, certain things that I was thinking about, you know, give my commentary, my take on it and things like that all right so you can see me here okay just making sure all right i'm not even gonna lie to you guys all right so i actually um actually recorded this video once already but the sound was muted <laughs> so <laughs> oh, okay all right and then this thing right here was like frozen so i'm glad that it actually worked out like this so here we go. Can we be even put Ed My Street Blue Love as a remix? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so let me tell you about the bracket real quick. So um like I said, I got fourth place. My first match was with Kunimitsu with a Kunimitsu, uh played by Reckless, then I had to face Fat Boy. Fat Boy is on the commentary. And he's actually a notable player here as well. He played Lawn Jack, and I actually, like, uh, it was actually 2-1. And I've never beaten him before, so I got a lot of upsets here. Then I faced Ryan, Ryan V. Um, he was an Asuka. I hate Asuka, but he's really good. I actually felt really heartbroken after that because I actually was going to beat uh, Ryan, like, 2-0. But the right side, I have a... A real problem playing on that side so you know I did the best that I could but I made a really crucial mistake I got a last hit launcher that was gonna win me the, the round that was gonna get me the game the first game um, but I did the wrong combo out of habit um, and then he like came back and then I lost that game then I won the second game which you know, if I would have won the first game, 2-0, you guys get it. But that's not how it, that's not how it worked. And uh, he beat me. So when me, or brought me down to losers, and I had to face uh, Reckless again with the Kunimitsu. And and then I had to wait for stream for loser semis, um, which was this match. I would have been in winner's finals, which would have been amazing, but... Um, this is what this match is the fourth place match with soup dupes and the Shaheen. I don't face Shaheen's I don't know anything about Shaheen So this is just me go trying to learn the character off rip And the New York jokes don't stop but it's all out of love all out of love. <laughs> I gotta win those <laughs> I wonder if that is why his name is Soup Dupe, Soup Super Duper. I wish I had a magic for it. I didn't know you could duck that. Yeah, I didn't believe. I didn't believe in the orbital. 
I'm usually like, you know, laser focused on stuff like that. Uh, and I would have been, you know, exceedingly amounts of damage. But I didn't believe, you know, it's hard going from online all the time to offline. And there's a lot more pressure, especially on the stream, because I barely get to go to these things. And being on stream with actual good players is, I don't know, it does something does something to you in your blood, man. So I'm going to, I dropped a lot of stuff. And also, ooh, nice break as I'm doing Peacekeeper there. There was something going on with, I don't know if it was me or the setups, but every time I want to do a combo, some sometimes I would drop them, but it would be combos that I don't ever drop. And it would be like, I miss input, or it would like skip an input, or I input too fast, something like that. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'll point it out when, because it does happen here. Every time I want to do like a normal combo, it would just like, not come out or it'll do me like me do the 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 least amount of damage and those are the instances that make or break the set and i'm afraid that's probably that's probably what happened oh. Oh. and soup's been ducking a lot too i don't know what was that so this right here nice Ooh, i'm glad i ducked that or blocked that Okay, so there are two things I was trying to do here. I don't know what the move is called, but it's Huang's wall bounce with the quarter circle three, quarter circle four three. Um, and then that's gonna lead me to the wall break and then to extra damage and whatnot. But then I stood there to see what he was gonna do. Then I wanted to do um, uh, the grab where it switches, you know, switches, you to the wall and you know switches places I've, it's, it's, it looks like he's doing like a big like pinwheel move yeah it didn't come out or I just didn't press the grab together uh, so yeah that's probably what I was trying to do okay first off Dane went 0-2 this week all right so the only person who needs to be giving advice is to, is this this guy i'm just saying see see that see it was supposed to be mm, mm, mm. not freaking like RFF back four, like damn, bro. It's supposed to be three, four, back four. I don't know why I did that. All right, go to grab. There's that move I was talking about, the wall bounce. All right, that's a accidental setup that happens a lot sometimes. Where I'll be doing the uh, up back three three, but I'll catch them on the get up. Shoot, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you. I'm no. I know you can just get out of it, but people don't really realize it immediately. So, and then I mess up the combo too. Okay. Yo, he kept catching me with that. I kept ducking against Soup Show. Like he still won, but he could have just did his rage up. I don't know why people don't just do their rage up still. Okay. That's the 50 50. Is either slide, But I'm ready to rematch. Like, I'm not trying to go anywhere else. Like, it's. Ooh, oh, I'm so awesome. Freaking. Start game. Start match arm parry. Yo, 
There, there it is. That's the, uh, that's the grab I was talking about earlier. See, I've been starting to catch. I've been starting to catch that he's ducking a lot. So I'm throwing in a lot more, you know, moves that will, you know, punish him for doing that. So that's currently what's going on in my mind. And and also, uh, I saw this video by Blasted Salami. For some reason, Huarong down 3-4 was like a busted move. And I was like, I got to start using this move. I don't utilize this move as much as I should. Like, I don't even use it online like that. So I told myself, like, I got to start using this move, man. Um, and it comes back to bite me. He starts low pairing and all this stuff, but like it got me a lot of damage. So I told myself I gotta start doing it. He's uh, catching people with that, yo. Like, stop getting hit. I don't know what you pressing here. Four two. See, look, there's it. There it is. Boom. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there are certain things about that that I always do that online, but I don't know why the jab missed and unfortunate positioning with the wall. So whenever you are doing a combo that leads to the wall, but it's not so uh, what's it adjacent, you know. It's not so like back to back. It's more so like like sideways, like you know, like if the wall was right here, and then the opponent's back is like this, because sometimes their back and the hitbox would not make it so complete. Huron can actually stuff a jab, so he has enough time to hop over to the back and get a free launcher. And I do that a lot sometimes, and I notice it. But some people just can't, are really good at blocking it. But if you don't really, if you're not really ready for it, because it's like online, you can really expect something like that. Because people like to jump over all the time. But because it's just something that I'm just so comfortable with, and I don't know how many people in on PP are doing it, I just decided to pull it out because I realized it was like the situation was there. Why not? But. I got the launcher and, you know, the, the, the wall, the side wall kind of messed up my combo anyway. So, but yeah, they're, they're, it's not the dame special. <laughs> it's the dude special. But no, yeah, I do that all the time. But I just missed the jab, but it still worked. And I never do that. I hate, for, it's a pet peeve of mine. When someone like low parries, like I won't even call it a 50 50, but the um, the guessing of a move I never do. Like it's a meta for the character, the down three, four, and then the hell sweep, but I never do that. I've never even done it up until this point in any low parries. That's so annoying. So why my just frame skyrocket combo miss? I never miss those. I'm telling you, it was something weird with the venue and like I couldn't land any combos that I usually <laughs> hit. <laughs> Who's he talking about? Oh, I didn't catch this the first time. All right, so um. What he's talking about is, so when I do Just From Skyrocket, um, the follow-up after is called Backlash. Backlash is a special combination where you have to do this. Uh, you have to do three and four, but like, like simultaneously. So it's not like, you know, you press them at the same time, but you like got to do it like right after each other. 
and the way I hold the because I use pad, I don't like using stick. The way I use pad as I hold it like this, you know, like a regular thing. And then just from Skyrocket, you know, is the input, of course. But the way that I, you know, the, because you get so much time, because it sends you so far up, I changed my stances and I switched to claw grip, which is what he's talking about. I switched from this, from thumb to this, because it's just easier to hit the, the backlash like that. I've never used, like, thumb to do any of it like this. I've probably used it with gin to do like the the wheel the you know the wheel kick or whatever it is i don't know what it's called it's like a wrestling move. but i've been so adapt inept to doing this that i do it every time after just frame skyrocket so i do the just frame switch switch stances claw grip and then i go back to that and that's what he's talking about um it's actually just something I, I do. I don't know if anybody else does it like that. Look, there it is. That's supposed to be freaking Peacekeeper right there. This guy's watching my fingers. Yeah, this guy's watching my hands while we play. That's kind of grimy, man. Oh, I broke that grab. That was intentional. Uh, look, be, uh, you know, yeah, 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 I'm grabbing, I'm pressing every grab I can because I'm trying to get back to my side, man. I, to be honest with you, and wow, man, his foot is right through his ass. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Come back from this. Like that was actual back three, not plasma saber. So like we needed to punish that properly. Oh, the magic four. We already committed to the string, so uh, tries to uh, go for the, the full crouch. Oh my yeah. goodness! See, there it is. Going to the wall? Oh, yeah, the wall. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, I just I couldn't really anticipate the wall. Uh, I guess because of the nervousness, but. Um, I like to buffer my just from skyrockets. That's why you see that little back dash that I do there, like right there. I'm sure you can see it. Let me go back one more time. So I'm about to do it. Boom, boom. There it is. It just helps me. It helps me like input it better. Um, and it's like a whiff punish. Some more down three fours. Okay. I'm in the lead, so I'll eat the punish. Back dash, back dash, Korean back dash. I got those. Low parry, bro. Heart is palping right now. Game three. I'm feeling so good right now. After I got it, I can breathe. All right. So let's just see how this goes. This did happen a week, like two weeks ago. Yeah, so usually with that string, man, I usually go for the mid. 
because that's just it's just a bunch of I'm not the frame guy by any means, but to me it's just a bunch of frame advantage that uh, I'm trying to utilize if they're stuck at the wall. But um, this is the first time I ever went for the low. And I, it wasn't a read on his rage or, or anything like that. But um, it's kind of lucky on me that I blocked it. Because <laughs> usually I would press. Okay. We've all been there. That Nice. With punish, that's what I always look for because Bong has them. I'm about to die on the mic. Look, go for the sweep. Yo, can we move his damage is gone, dude. I should have just went for a regular punish. That must have been counter hit because I did a lot. But look at this. I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm at the brass ring, man. I'm about to taste it. Let's see what goes wrong. <laughs> This man is slurping a drink during the match. Sometimes I forget that sidestep move is there. I forget that sidestep move is there sometimes. But I lost to all pokes this round. Then he low parries me, like again, dude. I lost to all pokes. Like he changed up the style. He changed up his place there. This is why I practice with my character in training mode, okay? You practice? Alright, if you practice in training mode, I'm six feet tall. That, that scouted ass freaking, like, hop kick for a low that I wasn't even, like, like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even, like, using a lot. He was so worried about those lows. That was a nice hop kick. Uh, crushed my low. Just whiffed a bunch in his face. Yeah, Luck. Instead of talking trash, why don't you give some advice? And then I don't get the spin because of the combo thing I was talking about. What kind of PEDs is my man doing? That would have been the game to me. I think that would have been game. That actually would have been game. Like, because he would have went to the wall, and then he would have had to guess. Final, final round. I got my money on, um... Here go Afro. Just... I'm not even going to entertain it. He's trying to fight out right in the corner really early. Nice magic four. Magic four is... To the wall. Okay, so we spend this... There's no wall. This match should have been over. He's trying to low parry again, dude. Twenty seconds left. I was thinking about doing rage art, <laughs> but unfortunately, no. That's not how it happened. I lost a. 2 0 comeback. And then. And then. It's over. So then, yeah, then there was that. Uh, so. I was so locked in. Uh, I thought it was first to three. But that's only like winners, losers, and grands. It was first to two. I was just like mash and rematch. And I really thought I had it. I was so close, and I should have freaking won. But, yeah, and I I didn't know. So he told me that's what he was saying. He was like, oh, dude, it's only first to two. So that's why, I, he, you know, was like, I thought he was going to get really weirded out because I was, like, not going to give him a fist bump. But, but you know, you, see, you saw how it goes. But anyway, um... That was turning run. I don't know what number it was. I'm sure 
you'll read, you'll know which one it is. And um, hopefully I get to get back on my recordings like I used to be. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm, you know, got to get back into, especially with the tech and stuff, the skits, game stuff, just this beautiful face, you know, this face has got to come back. So yeah, we'll see you again. Thanks for stopping by.